Okay, so yeah, my name is Diana Douglas. I'm going to be a dietitian working with you today. Can you just tell me a little bit about why you're in here, like coming to see me? The other day I was in school and in class and I fainted. And when I woke up, the nurse was leaning over me and she was taking my vital signs and making sure I was okay. That must have been really scary. Um, anything that the nurse saw that I should know about? No, she did take my blood sugar um, and it was 257. I am, I was just recently diagnosed um, about six months ago with type one diabetes. Um, so it was high and she was very concerned and she called my parents and told them to take me to the ER. It must have been really scary for you to experience that in your school environment. Can you share with me a little bit about how you felt, you know, before, after, when you woke up? Um, when I, um, before I fainted, I felt very dizzy. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was just super embarrassed when I woke up um, because this had, happened, this had happened to me in front of all my classmates. Yeah, that's totally understandable. and. I want you to hear that um, because that is super scary and not many people understand, you know, what you're, what you're going through right now. So that day, do you remember kind of what you ate? Have you checked your uh, glucose levels? Did you check your insulin? Um, I didn't check my sugar levels. Um, and when I went to school, the only thing I ate that day was a Snickers. But after I ate the Snickers, I took my insulin. But that was the only thing I ate for the day. And what kind of is stopping you uh, from eating throughout the whole day? Um, I'm just so busy in school. I do a lot of school activities and um, my, both my parents work, so it's just very busy in the morning. And Yeah. Um, if you could maybe recall, um, you know, a 24 hour diet recall, what would you, um, what would you have to share? Um, so like, um, I would say like, one day, like prior to that, I had like Cheerios for breakfast with milk and mm -hmm. um, didn't have anything until lunchtime. And then I had some corn, chicken strips, um, chocolate pudding, and a kind of ketchup because I like ketchup. Then later on in the day, I had uh, some goldfish, um, kind of like a healthy greens uh, granola bar. And then I had dinner, which was just spaghetti, um, no meat or anything, and then some milk. And then I think for the snack before I went to bed, well, before I went to bed, I had some Oreos um, and some milk. And that was about what I had the whole day. Okay. So I think you're doing a really great job at, you know, getting about almost six meals um, a day. So good job on that. Uh, you were talking about earlier about being active and having a lot going on in school. Can you tell me a little about that? Yeah, like I do student council in the morning. Um, we al I also volunteer the pre-kindergarten reading program. Um, I play soccer all year round. Um, I babysit for family and friends. And then I have two dogs and a bird. That's super awesome. Well, I really enjoy soccer, so I played soccer for a long time. So I understand where you're coming from. So you're super active and that's super awesome. Um, why do you think, you know, checking your glucose levels and taking your insulin is important for you? Why is it important for me? Yeah. Um, because it'll help control my sugars and hopefully that I won't faint again. Yeah. And what about your meals? So when we're looking at, you know, we're talking about that 24 hour diet recall. Um, there wasn't, a, you didn't talk a lot about vegetables, fruits. Do you enjoy those? Kind of what are your thoughts about those? Mm -hmm. I like a little bit of fruit and just a little bit of vegetables. Um, I like corn and broccoli, mm -hmm. um, but that's kind of the only vegetables that I eat. And then um, fruits, I like apples and bananas and grapes. That's about it. Okay, well that's a good uh, variety. So I think it, I think it's a great idea. And you tell me your thoughts about this. Um, maybe incorporating those a little more in your breakfast, lunch, um, dinner, and your snack times. Um, those three snacks throughout the day. I think it'd be a great idea to kind of incorporate more of those fruits vegetables um, with the combination of carbs, proteins, and fats. Uh, and then, you know, in school, when it comes to taking your insulin and um, checking your blood glucose, what, what's most challenging about that? Um, like I'm embarrassed to like to leave the classroom to go get my, to go check my sugars or to do my insulin. Um, I just don't want to be like laughed at or anything by the other kids. Yeah, and that's totally understandable. Um, I, I see where you're coming from with that. Do you think it would help if um, 
you had maybe like a buddy system or the teacher had, had a set time where you kind of go out, see the nurse, hang out the nurse's office, take your glucose levels and insulin there. Share your thoughts about that. I think that might be a good idea to do it with a buddy and like, cause then it won't be so obvious or something like that. Yeah. Um, I didn't know I could do that. Yeah. I'll answer about that. Well, I think that's a great start. I think, you know, trying to balance those meals throughout the day, as well as really focusing on taking our insulin, checking our glucose levels, you know, and then um, kind of carrying on from there. What are your thoughts? Um, maybe if you can help me and we can put something together that will help me keep on track, um, like being able to do that and my, you know, preparing my foods or whatever for each day yeah. then it might help yeah that's i love that idea um so i think that you're doing i think you're doing a great job at keeping active um making sure you're getting those uh, almost six meals a day um and we're just going to kind of continue from there all right it was super nice meeting you it was super nice meeting you too